Seven minutes to air. Seven minutes, everybody. Seven minutes. Afraid of? <laughs> the uh, 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 that Jimmy does so well in real life. And Matt does not do. Well, all three of us go blank. <laughs> and we all stare and look at each other. You know, that's what I'm afraid is going to happen here. <laughs> 2.15 to air. If something screws up, uh, I will blame myself. I will be blamed. And uh, it's been great fun working on the show. Two minutes, everybody. Two minutes. I think the scariest part for me is technical failures. Like the power going out like yesterday. You can't say that nothing's ever going to go wrong. Uh, and we always play the what if game. What if, what if, what if? Minute 30 to air. Tripping. Like most actors, you just don't want to fall down. There's only one fear to have about this episode. There's only one fear. And that is that the script is no good. 30 so seconds back, please. If you tape it, you can just keep screwing it up forever. If you do it live, that's you know, the end of your life. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a plane waiting right now uh, and, and a passport under an assumed name if I blow this thing. Well, we don't do live television unless we think there's really a compelling reason to do it. I mean, in the, in the instance of this, we felt that the only way to really get the intensity of a presidential live debate would be to do it live. When John Wells suggested going live, we were in the writer's room and everybody kind of took a deep breath of fright and Alex and I both said that's great and we talked about it and uh, started thinking what if the rules somehow broke down and they ended up accidentally getting into a real debate and uh, that sounded really intriguing we both just immediately kind of leaned into the joy of it and and uh, and I don't think either one of us uh, got scared by it at all. Lawrence was the only one crazy enough in the writer's room to actually jump at the idea of writing it. All the rest of us were like, well, ooh, somebody will have to write that. And he said, oh, I want to write it. So he said, great, have a good time. Three weeks before doing it, I think we both achieved uh, a terror level that we've never experienced before on anything we've done. I've never done live television, but I've done a play, which is what the first incarnation of, of the debate is. It then becomes a live TV show that has to be filmed breaking down, but it's a play for the two weeks of rehearsal. One of the wonderful things about working on the stage compared to movies is that once you get out there, you're, you're in that world for an hour. Sink or swim. John Wells, our executive producer, said, we're going to do a real debate as if it were two presidential candidates just during the debate. And, and the beads of sweat started <laughs> forming. And Lawrence and I have worked together at, uh, at NBC. And he called and said, you know, what we'd really like is somebody who's done this sort of thing before, so would you do it? And I said, OK, sure, but how much do I have to pay you? Well, I was thrilled. I, I think everybody wanted to be part of this because it's a special experience. It may be a colossal failure. Um, that's what you're set up for when you step up and say, OK, I'll do the big one. The big fear on this is boring. It's simple. I mean, you're just going to have two guys standing at a podium you know, talking about public policy in America. This was the most difficult writing assignment I've had in my life. I was off by myself doing this, and it was, and the script came in late, and no one was saying anything, and uh, everyone had kind of given up on asking me about it. And John Wells uh, called me and said, um, "You know, we're really going to have to have it by uh, tomorrow night." And I wasn't near, near making it ready for tomorrow night. And that's all I needed. I just hung up the phone and went into real overdrive to get this thing ready in about 24 hours. Lawrence really went away and locked himself in a room. And I think the, the main idea he was sent away with was, I don't want to know who wins. And what's interesting about that, I think, is that everyone who watches the debate will have a different experience. Alan Alda is going to be great. We guarantee that Jimmy Smith is going to be great. And you have a guarantee that Alex Graves, the director of this thing, is going to do the best possible job that a director can do. So the big failure zone here is the script. That's the disaster waiting to happen, or the thing we get away with. We finally did have a script. It was time to have a concept meeting where the writer and the director sit and talk through the script 
exactly what they envision um, this script looking like on television. Everybody, uh, welcome to the concept meeting for uh, the live episode, uh, which is currently titled The Debate. Lawrence, you want to start with cast? Cast, Santos, Vinick, Sheila, Mayer, Lou, Helen, Forrest Sawyer is locked in as the moderator. And uh, we'll have a heckler who I guess will be off screen, Alex, unless you want to see him. No, the heckler will be Chris Messiano. Somehow, people around here, I don't know where they've gotten this impression that I can be adamant and a little bit of a pit bull. I think that they, they're going to capitalize on that and throw me in there. The truth be told, I have the opposite opinion in every way about him. But uh, um, I'm so crazy about Chris that I just thought, I wish he was here and I want him to be part of it. So I'm forcing him to be here by putting him in the show. I hope he gives me a lot of direction, because I'll need it. My job is to kind of melt together the two worlds, being the existing world of West Wing, which is a film show, and the live world, which is different crews, different equipment. These guys do all the big award shows, the Emmys, the Oscars, there's country music awards, those things. Our tiny little show is only gonna use 10 cameras. They work on shows that are 19 and 20 plus cameras. So this is a relatively smaller undertaking for them, huge for us. Tom and I, as the live producers, are trying to make sure that everyone is sort of on the same page and moving towards the same goal and understand the, the time pressures that you don't really feel if you haven't done this before. In our thinking, in the live thinking, the most important thing to keep in mind is there are no more tomorrows. In what may evolve into a very long meeting, let me, let me uh, just get going. First of all, I'm thrilled that everybody's taking part in this. We have the best people in the business uh, working with us. And uh, can I address something I'm a little worried about? Oh, okay. I'm only worried about one thing. Okay. Really? I'm just wondering about if it's enough time. I think at this point to, to think about turning it up a day. I don't see how you can. You can't. Well, on any given scene on the regular show, we probably rehearse for 30 or 40 minutes before we shoot the scene. We'll rehearse this for two weeks. Are prescription drugs expensive? Yes. Do they, do they save us from getting hit with even larger hospital bills? Yes. Lawrence wrote a great script, but no matter how much he tries to make it uh, a dramatic story to follow, it's a debate. And so how do you dramatize that? So I had to get with the actors in a room and go, here's the political story that's being carried out, but what's the emotional story? Because that's really where the episode lies. Poverty will be permanent and children will go hungry. And our charity will never be enough. Never. Now is the point where I've heard the actors read it a couple of times. And I know that in my terms, this is going to be fine. The script is basically in the strike zone of where it needs to be. And there will be more things that I figure out to do with it to make it better between now and airtime. We knew certain things. We knew that we would have to have a debate stage. So we started researching what had happened in the last handful of presidential debates. We knew from the research uh, what kind of elements we needed. An area for the audience, a uh, raised stage uh, with the graphics on it. And uh, then when everybody's happy with uh, the layout, uh, uh, I go to the model. The plan drawing is a, is a bird's eye view looking from above down, and then there's a section view that we do usually, which is cutting right down the middle of the set and looking from the side. Well, tomorrow morning, we're gonna go uh, into the stage for the first time, and we're gonna, we're gonna tape out the set on the floor and look at it with all the department heads and make sure that's where we wanna put the stage, that the lighting department can rig their lights above it and the grip and camera departments can put all their equipment where it's supposed to go. Make sure the planning will actually work in the real space. It'll take me a couple of days to build the set and then a, about three days to build the set and uh, probably a day to load in. At this point, I'm not worried or excited or nervous. Um, that might all change, we get a little closer. We haven't shot it yet, so <laughs> it's a lot of time for things to go wrong. Oh, no. Ladies and gentlemen, the executive producer and director, Alex 